Hello, friends. This is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, with thoughts for preaching the pro-life message on the 18th Sunday of Year A. The Lord fulfills all our needs, and He invites us to come to Him with confident hearts so that He can fulfill those needs. Now, the first need, of course, the most basic that He wants to fulfill for us, is salvation. But salvation is integral. It is not only salvation of the soul, but of the body, not only of the individual, but of communities and, and nations and cultures. So we come to him with the need to be preserved in our bodily life, in our bodily integrity. We come to him with the need to live in a culture of life and to be rescued from a culture of death. And not only does the Lord invite us to come to him, so that we may always do what is good and right and never yield to temptations like abortion, despite the greatest anxieties that can be brought about by an unexpected pregnancy or by other difficulties. But he also commands us to feed one another. When he saw the crowd who needed food, he didn't just go and feed them. He commanded his disciples to feed them. And so the people of life take up from the Lord the great command, to serve the needs of others, starting with the preservation of their lives, and starting with standing with those moms and dads who are afraid to be moms and dads, and giving them the courage to say yes to life. Abortions don't happen because of freedom of choice. They happen because people feel they have no freedom and no choice. They don't happen because of freedom. They happen because of the coercive power of despair. And when at the command and by the power of the Lord, the people of life feed one another, they replace that despair with hope, and they replace the culture of death with life. Let us proclaim, live, and apply this message. God bless you.